Eldlich players, I'm going to give you a guide, not for the Eldlich players, but how to beat Eldlich players. This is going to be a way to not only have cards that do well against Eldlich, but do well against all other decks. So I'm not going to be telling you, play Harpy Feather Duster. No, that's not a card that's good against all decks. You don't want to build your deck to be Eldlich and only Eldlich. You want it to be Eldlich and all other decks. Let's go into that guide. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Starting off with Evenly Matched. This is a card that will not make the match even. This will auto win you the match. This card is good against all decks. No matter what you're playing against, including Eldlich, you're gonna use Evenly Matched to win the entire duel very easily. So, so what is Eldlich gonna do? They're gonna set up a bunch of back row. Then they're gonna end their turn. On your turn with Evenly Matched, if your opponent has any amount of cards in the field, monster or back row, you will enter the battle phase without setting this. Then you're gonna end the battle phase and then your hand will ask you to activate Evenly Matched, forcing your opponent to banish their entire field but one card because they have to equal the same amount of cards that you have on your field, which you only have Evenly Matched face up. If Eldlich is monkey flipping, they might activate a card to destroy your evenly matched. If they do that, now you control zero cards and they have to banish their entire field. This is good against any deck and it's why I recommend it to put in your deck. Next up you have DD Crow. DD Crow, discard this card, target a card in the graveyard, banish it. You're going to use this against Eldlich and many other decks. So Eldlich is going to be a card that wants to summon from the grave. So wait for it to activate, to, to be added back to the hand to then summon. They're gonna tribute a trap they control on the field. Then you're gonna chain DD Crow. DD Crow, banish. Now if we're looking at the tier list, you could also use DD Crow against Zodiac Tri-Brigade. If they activate Karas by discarding a card like Nerval, if you chain link to DD Crow to Karas to banish the Nerval, they don't get to search. Banish cards from their graveyard. If you're playing against a Drytron deck, Drytrons want their cards to be summonable from the grave. If you DD Crow banish the Ben 10 on the cost attributed, it, it's not gonna activate. So DD Crow banish Ben 10, DD Crow banish the Drytrons. So not only good against Eldlich, also good against other top tier decks. Ash Blossom, you're already playing this, but it's good against the Eldlich traps that want to special summon an Eldlich from the deck. Generally, an Eldlich player, they're very proud of this combo, okay? They like to chain link one Conquistador, chain link two Eldlixer, because it makes them feel like they're doing a combo. It's not really a combo. It will summon the Eldlich, and then it will summon the Conquistador, then it will pop a card in the fields, and then they're gonna feel smart. But they're actually gonna be really dumb because by chain link wanting the Conquistador and chain link twoing the Eldlixer, if you Ash Blossom negate this, then they just used Conquistador for no reason. It now does nothing. It just summons a token, and now they're a big giant fool because you Ash Blossomed their combo. And then of course, you know that Ash Blossom is just good against everything generally. If it's asking to be activated against any deck, it's usable against every deck. This card's too good. It's good against Eld's Lich. It's also good against all other decks. Now we have Ghost Bell in Haunted Mansion. This is similar to Ash Blossom. If your opponent is activating the Eldlich in the graveyard to special summon it onto the field, the Ghost Bell will negate. Now, Ghost Bell is also good against a card like Revolt. So if we're talking about other top tier decks in addition to Eldlich, that's the whole theme of this, cards that are good against Eldlich and other decks. If you're playing against Tri-Brigade, the most popular deck, negate the Revolt. The Revolt is their main freaking card. Stop them from summoning Shireg. Also, Drytrons, anything that's trying to special summon a monster from the grave, this will negate. Also, this counters one of the best cards in the game, which is going to be Called by the Grave. Called by the Grave is going to stop you from using your cards. If you chain Ghost Bell to Called by the Grave, then you're great. This will protect your Maxi from being negated. 
Skullmeister, similar to Ghost Spell, a little bit differently. Any card effect is activating in your opponent's graveyard, you could negate. Now, this won't be good against people that know how to chain link block. I think it's not going to be as good as some other cards. Maybe DD Crow is a little bit better in some circumstances because DD Crow cannot be chain link blocked. But otherwise, if they're activating Eldritch in the graveyard, Skullmeister negate. If they're activating Nerval in the graveyard to search, Skullmeister negate. They're activating a virtual world card or Drytron card in the graveyard, Skullmeister will generally be usable against all the top tier decks and Eldlich. Dino Wrestler Pankratops. This is good against every deck. No matter what deck you're playing against, this will be good. If you're playing against Eldlich, what you do is if your opponent controls any monsters more than you, which will generally be you have no monsters, they have an Eldlich on the field or a token, you special summon this from the hand, and then if they have Skill Drain, you're going to destroy Skill Drain. You're going to destroy Imperial Order. Destroy Skill Drain, that negates monsters though, that's right, but the Dino Wrestler will tribute itself to destroy the Skill Drain. Because the Dino Wrestler is no longer on the field, it could tribute itself, and it's a quick effect. You could chain it to something. You could attack with it, they flip up a card to stop your attack, you chain Link to your Panker Tops, and then it will destroy a Skill Drain, destroy a face-up card in the field. It will destroy anything, face down, face up, it's so versatile, it works against every deck, and especially it works against Eldlich. Lightning Storm. If your opponent plays only back rows, this destroys back rows. If your opponent only plays monsters, this will destroy monsters. This is good against every deck. What deck is this not gonna be good against? I guess one that has no back row and summons everything in defense, but link monsters can't go into defense. Generally, they will have a link monster. This might not be so good against Drytrons if they're summoning the Herald of Awesomeness in defense, and then you're kind of screwed. But generally, the Lightning Storm, in many cases, the biggest downside is gonna be that you have to control no face-up cards. So if you play a deck that very quickly gets a face-up continuous spell, continuous field spell, continuous trap, maybe you don't wanna play this, but Lightning Storm is otherwise pretty much good against all decks with attack position monsters or back row. So play Lightning Storm. And then this is already one of the most popular cards, but it's great against Eldlich and against all other decks. Target a monster in the graveyard, banish it, and negate its effects. So when Eldlich activates to destroy a card in the field, they discard it plus another card to pop you. You called by the grave, banish it. Not only is it banished so it cannot summon onto the field, but you also negated the effect to destroy a card in the field. When Eldlich activates to summon from the graveyard, banish it with called by the grave. If you call by the grave in Eldlich during your turn or even early into their turn, they're not gonna be smart enough to remember that you used called by the grave because now, when they use their second or third copy of Eldlich, that's also negated for two turns. It happens all the freaking time. And Called by the Grave is just good against every top tier deck. Banish a card from the grave, negate its effect, or if they activate a monster effect in the field, they might have another copy of that card in the graveyard. If you call by the grave the other copy, the monster on the field will be negated. Forbidden Droplet. Hold up. Why is this good against Eldlich? Well, let me explain. This is a little bit more complicated. This has a cost to send your cards to the graveyard to negate and reduce a monster by half. Well, the Eldritch deck, they're already negating with Skill Drain. So what are you negating? You're not negating. How you're gonna use Droplet is a bit advanced. The Droplet is going to be Chain Link 2 to your own monster effect on the field. So if we look at the most popular cards in the game, you have a card like Nightmare Unicorn, you're probably playing it. You have a card like the Nightmare Phoenix, you're probably playing it. You're gonna summon this Activate their effect to destroy or return the skill drain back in the deck, but you're negated. Well, if you chain link to your droplet to any of your monster effects, any, activate a monster effect, chain link to the droplet, tribute your monster on the field or send it to the grave, it's no longer negated. The effect will go through. So if you chain droplet to the Nightmare Phoenix or the Unicorn, then your effect goes through and the droplet's good against all decks. It negates, it can't be negated if you use it properly. Very good against Drytron. Just understand that. That's a good way to have your own monster dodge the skill drain. Now we have Dogmatica Punishment. What? 
you could put this in any deck. Why? Because what this does is you target a face-up monster your opponent controls, you send a card from your extra deck to then destroy that monster, but the card you're going to send, you're going to be sending your Entis. That means that you could use this to destroy an Eldlich, and then the Entis will destroy the Skill Drain. A lot of Eldlich players are also playing this combo. Any deck could play this. The biggest downside is until the end of your next turn, you could not special summon from your extra deck. But you know what? You're probably not doing that anyway if they have a freaking Skill Drain on the field or an Imperial Order. So use your Dogmatica Punishment, which is going to be good against any deck. This one card is like a treacherous trap hole, but you could destroy anything. You destroy one monster plus any other card in the field, back row or monster. This is great. Great combo. A lot of people are not using it, but some, you know, a Dogmatica deck and Eldritch are liking it. Let's see, who is using this the most? Invoked loves it. Eldritch loves it. But you know what? Every deck could love this. Every deck could play it. And now you have Access Code Talker. You probably have this, but you don't know that it counters skill drain. How does it scout counter skill drain and not the way you think it does? Generally, if you summon this before they have skill drain, you'll probably win because they don't know how to play with their toggle. I have a toggle on guide how to use the toggle. But if your opponent knows how to use the toggle, how does access code talker counter an already face up skill drain on the field? Well, very easily. It's similar to what I said about droplet. You're going to use access code talker to banish itself as a cost to destroy the skill drain, to destroy the Imperial Order while there's a skill drain on the field. So if the Axis Code Talker is being negated by skill drain, banish itself, get poppin', and you're no longer dealing with skill drain. So those are all cards that are good against Eldlich, but also good against all other decks. Now, what about cards that are good against just Eldlich? So boom, uh, I kind of have this all up here so you could remember how to counter them. These are all the cards we talked about. So this is a good overview. And here's the extra deck cards that also help with the core cards. Now, what about cards that deal with just Eldlich but are not good against every deck? I got you, ready? The side deck. These are cards, I'm just gonna more generally show you them like this. Harpy Feather Duster, wipe out all their back row. You're not gonna be using this against all decks though, but if you really hate Eldlich, you can consider the Harpy Feather Duster or Cosmic Cyclone or Mystical Space Typhoon. Again, these will not be good against all other decks, so it's not the main cards I'm recommending you over the other ones. Twin Twister, double back row pop, take out the Eldlich cards. Royal Decree, negate all their traps, obviously not good against every deck. And then you have the Red Reboot. This card's quite nuts. You could pay half your life points to use this from your hand. It will negate a trap, and then for the rest of the turn, your opponent cannot activate traps. So if they set five back row on your turn, they flip up skill drain, you're gonna red reboot by, from your hand by paying half your life, and then all of their back row traps cannot be activated, and then hopefully you could go for game. And there you go. These are cards that are good against all decks, but more specifically good against Eldlich. And then here are the cards that specifically counter Eldlich. Let me know if you have any other good ideas that you want me to cover with Master Duel. Were you struggling against Eldlich? Did you not know about one of these cards? If you play any regular deck and then you throw in all these cards as your tech cards, you're gonna crush Eldlich, believe me. Fools!